did. Too racy. Too racy too soon. There's a thumbnail title right there. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Welcome to the beautiful Nürburgring Nordschleife where we're going to be doing a GT4 fixed race on iRacing. Now, I'm having an absolute blast driving the GT4s this season and I'm going to try and do every single race until the end of the season with the objective of trying to be on the main page of the series standings come the end of the season. And our car of choice this week is the Porsche Cayman. Now, it would appear that everybody's driving the BMW. That seems to be the strongest car. But I actually think the Porsche Cayman's pretty decent. So we did qualify for this one. And I thought I put a pretty respectable lap time in. But it was only good enough for P6. But I suppose it puts us towards the sharp end and away from the carnage. And what you're going to see here is quite possibly my most favourite race ever at the Nordschleife. Not easy, really tough, but good fun. But before we jump on track, if you do like this video at any point, please remember to click on the like button. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. So three laps around the Nordschleife in the Porsche Cayman, starting P6. Let's go on track. Here we go. Looks like BMW's the uh, OP car. This week, we need to catch car number four. Fingers crossed, we can have a nice, clean, safe race. That's the plan. We desperately need some safety rating. I did the one before this, and the audio was messed up on the recording, as in, it didn't record any. So, I'm hoping that the issue is fixed catch right now. Crew chief seems a bit quiet. I've installed the latest release candidate of Crew Chief. I'm nervous, I'm really nervous. These guys in front are so fast. The pole sitter qualified with an 846.7. We did an 849 flat. So 2.2 seconds quicker than us over the course of a lap. So, let's be honest, the wind's not on the cards. We're aiming for double green. Can we get double green? Now I've said that, I doubt it. But we'll try. In this sea of BMWs, sheep. We can just about hear Crew Chief. I'll make some adjustments for the next video. If it's too quiet when I play it back. Might not be too bad when we're not in traffic. So I don't mind going backwards at the beginning. Unlucky Pavel, good effort. Oh, he's dead. Too racy. Too racy too soon. There's a thumbnail title right there.
hopefully we can just pull away from these guys behind. Stay in the train. Freebie. Right, we need to stay in touch with these, otherwise it's going to be a long, boring race. Suffered from a bit of understeer there in that fast right. Yes. Sorry, I'm not talking much. This is tough. Not the best out of there. Yeah, we're just getting dropped in a straight line. I've struggled it around the carousel in the Porsche. I hope that guy doesn't rear end us. So race lab is having a bit of a meltdown. Need to reset the cash, I think, on race lab. There's a horrible little bump there. 
just as you're turning in, does like to unsettle the car. Thought it was maybe going to be an off track there. Right, we're still in touch anyway. See how quick this green BMW is behind. So point four back, point two in front. Just can't do anything. Francois in front's got a little bit of draft from Javon. But we haven't gained at all. Really? Point two still? That's how you go too wide through there. We had to have a go. It separated him from the guy in P2 anyway. Great driving by Francois there. Not easy going too wide through there. Go on, Dave, sort this out. The lead is just checked out completely. Right, we need to get this gap back now. It's point six, not point eight.
I'm getting dropped here. I've almost have made a mistake there. little bit better. The gap's 0 0.9. See if it grows going up the hill. It should do because he's got draft. I think we're in a horrible position right now. Javor's 1.7 seconds up the road. Now yeah, we've actually gained a tiny bit somehow. Javo hit the wall there, you know. Is that how you pronounce it? Javo. Javo. I'm going to keep saying Javo. Looked like he hit the wall on the, the entry to that fast left. Hit that curb on the last lap as well. that one by a mile oh come on get back struggling Easy for you to say, Jim. Right, I think we're going to get eaten up here. Javoris by Francois.
and we might hear as well. I'll let this guy go. I'm not going to fight him because uh, I think he's maybe a little bit quicker than we are. Nice one, Yanis. Was that 47.3 miles off the front, guys? Oh, geez, unbelievable. Right, we'll see if Javo's got any damage in the straight line. He's got a bit of draft at the moment, though. just inconsistent. This is where it will tell. So 0 0.8, the gap. We're not really going to gain that much because he's got draft. I think Yanis is probably just happily waiting there, you know. Oh, shit. That was bad. Can't catch up. No, we don't want any off tracks.
1.2 seconds in front now was just about in draft but not much Point four back to Yanis. Not zero zero. We'll have to fix that. like he was out of the carousel then. I don't think Javor's got any damage, you know. I don't know if he had some kind of slowdown or something which drops him back. But he's got decent draft, so that should protect him from us down the straight. 0.5 back to the guy behind us. Not 0.5 now. It's point four back, point nine in front. Everybody's going to go for it here now, aren't they? Putting us even fighting this now. Nothing I can do. Great race, that one. P5. Up against some really fast guys here, so P5, I think we'll take it. An 8.46.4. Nice little crash to finish. See the instant points as well. Right, let's have a look at the Carnage Reel, which is brought to you by PC Specialist. If you're interested in a pre-built system, please check out PC Specialist down below in the description. Use the code Dave Calm and you can get 30 quid off your order. So thanks to PC Specialist for supporting the channel. Right, on with the Carnage. We didn't see that much. There's a couple of things in front. But no doubt, plenty happened behind her. There's something that happens after the chequered flag, which is a little bit shitty. 
Right, we haven't even started yet. I was just going to scrape the body yet. Yeah. Bound to be a little nudge here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is behind us. Too racy too soon. Yeah. Killed a couple of people there, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. He did move under braking that uh, Bilstein BMW. Yeah, too early on the gas. Oh. Oh. Oh, this was in front of us. Oh, yeah, just lost it on corner entry there. And that's his race over. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the biggest loser. Oh, that's a bit of a hit. I think he's got damage, I think. He has. Don't say he's going to hit somebody else. Not hitting the barrier. Oh, there he is, though. Oh, he's killed the number seven. Oh. Easy done. There he is again. He's out of control there. Yeah. Oh, and he killed him. Oh, no. Oh, and killed him. Oh, he's a serial killer. <laughs> oh, no. It's a graveyard. That's like Jimmy's beam, uh, BMW, that, isn't it? The M4. Meanwhile, back in Charles Mansonville. Oh, 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 it's not there yet. Oh, dear me. This is Javo. Ah, right. Does he hit this barrier? It looked like... Yeah, it does. Pretty hard, actually. It did well to keep going. Holy moly. I bet that rattled his fillings. And McLaren. But nice to see McLaren. He's gonna, yeah, thought he was gonna hit that. He got on the gas a bit early there. I've done that so many times because it's really important to get on the gas early there. You always run that risk. If you touch the curb, you're just gonna scrape the barrier, I think. Yeah, I never have the bottle to do that. Ah, this is what happened. Oh, no, it isn't. I thought this was hap what happened after the line. It isn't. Oh, it is in front, actually. This here. So that's Javo, number two. And that's Francois, number five. What's that about? That's a bit naughty, that, isn't it? So there, chequered flag now. It's over. What is the point of that? That is terrible. That is terrible. No need. Incident points for nothing. Really bad. And that's it. We're stuck on him. So we'll check out the results. So there was only one split for this race. The strength of field was 2,997. So we went double green. That was the objective. We gained 0.25 on our safety rating and we gained 32 I rating. So Hassan got the win, Francois P2 and Javo P3. We finished P5, Carnaby 6 started P6. Our fastest lap 
and 8 minutes 46 477. Miles off Hassan's fastest lap, but we had zero incident points. In fact, were we the only person in the race to have zero incident points? We were. And 158 championship points, which should put us on the main screen on the result standings for the series. So who was the biggest winner? Uh, so we've got a 57 there from Robert. I think he is the biggest winner. He is 57 for finishing P6. And the biggest loser is easily Jean Compte. He lost 133. So there we go. Started P6, finished P5. Safety rating gain and an I rating gain. I absolutely loved that race. There was just no break at all for three laps. And I actually didn't feel out of my depth racing with those guys. I felt comfortable in control. And there are several reasons for that. And I might make a video explaining why, but it's all to do with racing on a single screen. Pace isn't one of the things that I thought that I would get out of it. But overall, P5, double green, really happy. So if you did like the video, please remember, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.